Hi there and welcome to Stephen Foster's Market Report. I am Stephen Foster coming to you live from Victoria here March 1st. We are at the end of, or at the beginning of March, but it is the end of February that we're going to be talking about today. We have seen a, a total of active listings right now on the MLS at around 3,714, as you can see on my lovely screen here, uh, which is an exciting moment in real estate. It's down from a lot of listings over there in around what does that look like in uh, May, June of uh, 2010? And we we're up over 4,700 listings, but we're still very uh, robust. There's lots of stuff on the market, lots of stuff coming out, some interesting things and uh, some interesting stats. We have uh, 488 sales this month, which is uh, rising a little bit from the doldrums of J December and January. So uh, that's very positive. And uh, we're looking to see that the market continues this trend of... Uh, of a, they call it a balanced market in some worlds, in some school of thought, and uh, and I like to think that that's probably correct. Uh, interesting stuff on single family homes as we move through this market report. Uh, we have seen 50% of the sales this month, which is 264 homes. So around 130 of those homes, 132 of those homes were sold under $550,000. Uh, which is interesting because I know it's common preconception that Victoria is way out of touch with the rest of Canada when in fact actually those those numbers are pretty good considering of just how beautiful it is here when you compare what you're going to get for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars over there in Toronto uh, where it's very cold although we've had a little cold recently it's pretty nice out here so those prices are pretty good considering the demographic that are moving here as well as our uh, geographic location and our fabulous weather because it's downhill right into spring and summer right now so I think that those numbers are pretty good uh, we move over into the condominium market where the average price has risen a little bit up to three hundred twenty thousand dollars $320,000 for a condo. We do see some average prices coming in a little bit lower, maybe not average, but we see some prices lower over in the Fairfield uh, Cook Street area, which I think is excellent value because you can walk to Dallas Road and walk to the shops and there's some good value in those 1960s condos that need a freshen up inside, but I think you'll definitely see some growth in that market after you've done the work on those places so if you're looking for those types of deals give me a call and we can search them out i think there's a lot of excellent bargains out there to be had townhouses the market dropped a little bit in terms of the average price we got down to four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars per townhouse to get a little more for your money there but we're seeing a little drop in that in that action although there were 52 townhouse townhomes sold last month uh we're still uh it's still not a very, very active market there, but it is active enough to make it interesting enough to add to this report today. Looking for townhouses, give me a call. So we're coming right to the end of my little market report here. We did have 17 uh, manufactured home sales last month as well. And, uh, and that market is uh, just what that market is. If you have any questions about this market report, please feel free to call me. I am Stephen Foster. You know where to find me. My name's up there right above me. And uh, that was my March market report. Hope you're all having a great day and enjoying the weather we've been having. And uh, we will see you come the end of March for my end of March market report then. Cheers. See you next time.